In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look together at how to emulate the movement of a camera across a still image. We have another tutorial showing you how to do that, only it uses keyframes. And that's my preferred way of doing it because you have lots of control when you keyframe the motion across a still image. However, there are times when you want something very sim simple, very quick, a preset may work. And we're going to look at the presets that are part of a tool called Magic Motion. First of all, we're going to take an image, the one you see on the screen, drag it down into track number one. And with the image highlighted, we're going to apply one of the Magic Motion presets. How do you do that? Well, you can hold the Alt key down and hit the number two key, which is a preferred way of doing it. Or if you forget the keystroke, you click on the uh, magic uh, toolbar, the magic tools above the timelines. And one of the options is magic motion. Again, it's our alt plus the number two key on the keyboard. However you choose to get there, you will see a screen somewhat like this one. And it will have 21 predefined presets plus a user-defined one, which we'll deal with in a subsequent lesson. So how do you apply a preset? Well, just make sure that the uh, still image or images you want it to apply to are highlighted in your timeline. Then all you need to do is simply click once and it will apply it to that image. So now if I press the space bar, we can see I've got the zoom in control. And that's what it's done. There are a few things that you need to know about some of the presets. One is that they provide a very simple kind of motion and a very uncomplicated. The other thing to know is that they don't necessarily put the entire image on the screen. Let's cover each of the predefined ones and I'll show you some of the pluses and minuses. So we're going to move over here and we're going to play uh, a movie consisting of these 21 presets that are part of Magic Motion. We start out with no effect. Now we see about the size of this classroom here, the size of the original image. We go up to about halfway to this picture on the wall, a uh, little about three quarters up the window, down here uh, below the little blue thing the boy's playing with and up here well above this circle. But watch what happens as we try some of these effects. We're going to go through them one at a time. First one is just a random effect. It will pick one of the other 20 and apply it. And notice it, uh, it's doing one that's called um, moving directly up. Pan and zoom is a nice one. It comes out and it, it gives you the entire image. Vertical up does not cover the entire image, but focuses on the center of the image. Notice how that and vertical down crop the image so that you don't see all of the head of the boy on the left. Horizontal right, the same thing, a nice smooth image in the middle, but it does crop it. Horizontal left, it crops the image as well. You don't see the window, the picture on the wall, the arch in the middle. Zoom in is a full frame preset. It starts at the, and zoom out, as you might guess, is also full frame. So you have to keep these in mind to see what you want. Left down to right up. Uh, once again, that is a cropped image. It basically focuses on the center and right up to left down does the same thing. So those are the first 10 in the list. Now we're going to look at the second 10 that you'll find in Magic Motion. Right down to the upper left corner. Again, it's cropped. It focuses on the center and then left up to right down the reverse of that, again focusing on the center, but it does crop again. Rotate and zoom, crops the image a little bit, but uh, not the whole thing because you don't see all of what's in the middle at the top in particular. And you can go clockwise or counterclockwise. And you can rotate and zoom out as well as rotate and zoom in both clockwise and counterclockwise. Again, some croppings going on there. The U-type curve does not crop. 
and it starts at the upper left, goes down, goes to the upper right. Or you can choose the one that gives you a right to left U-shape pan. You have the inverse of the U-type, and that does cover the entire image, and it starts in the lower left. Or if you want to reverse it, it starts in the lower right, moves to the top and down again. The last one is a zoom in and zoom out. And once again, this one does a little bit of cropping. So you have to decide uh, what kind of trade-offs you want when you're using any of these presets. But if you want something very fast and very simple to apply to your image without going into the techniques of keyframing, uh, the presets in Magic Motion will work for you. We also are going to look at how to define your own, but that will be another lesson.